What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Only One KDB, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, bro, we got the nerd of the internet. You know what I'm saying? I know that ain't the title, but I made up my own title, bro. Because this nigga a nerd. Uh, we all know the nigga fake. I thought we were leaving this nigga in 2023, bro. How the fuck did he make it to 2024? And motherfuckers talking about him still, bro. Leave him in the past, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we finna get the Neon as the worst streamer of all time. We already know this already, bro. You know what I'm saying? He be on stream doing weird shit. And the nigga already did some weird shit a long ass time ago. If he fall off, I wouldn't be surprised if he do it again. The nigga faked his death, bro. Two or three times. Yeah, so he willing to do anything. He willing to stoop lower than fucking whale shit. So yeah, we ain't surprised about nothing he do. But yeah, we finna get to the video, bro. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And let's get to it, bro. What's poppin', y'all? I've been ignoring poppin', talking about this guy for such a long time. But so much has happened and so much foolery. And I genuinely think... He might be the worst streamer, arguably, yeah. of all time to reach this level. Now, I don't think about it from an entertainment What them two niggas rappers? Yeah, this guy's he really, like a basketball really player. entertaining. If you're just looking at it from a content, like, what the hell is going on? Keeping someone's attention for hours upon hours a day. Yeah, he's and definitely... another thing, bro. Why the fuck do he got that fucking buzz cut, my nigga? Like, you mind who shaved that shit off, bro? Like, grow your hair out or something, bro. Why the fuck do you got the same number one, bro? He been having the same haircut for a long time now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Urkel? That. But there's just something that, uh, about this new forgot, age bro, of man. streaming that it's not fun anymore. These people aren't having fun with others. Like, there was another era of IRL streaming back then where it was a lot more fun. Now, were they still doing a bunch of foolery? Yes, but I don't think they were as insulting. I don't think they were as disrespectful. And I think overall, if they were, <laughs> let's say, they weren't messing with people. And if they did, it was like in a way that was endearing and they could get out of. But this stuff is just, it's just so disrespectful now. The, th the most recent case that made me say this is this guy was supposed to be at the ufc event and he was going to meet donald trump now the reason what this the guy's fuck? even going to meet donald trump is because dana white who's really cool with aiden ross and also really cool with nelk he is really really close with donald trump so he can introduce people to donald trump that's how nelk got in with donald trump and that's how these other people like sneeko like academics is a rumble connection so rumble has a deal with trump where they like oh they go trump you nigga just chilling out the ufc fight. And stuff so that's where that they should have told his ass get in the ring trump came in so someone is already sticking their neck out and saying hey you should meet this guy Right when it comes to this neon dude, it's like 20 years old or something like that, 19 or something, not entirely sure. It's something between 18 and 20. So what happens next is this guy decides to go on a stream and say that I'm gonna play you guys the clip. Is I'm gonna walk up, um, you know, I'm gonna talk my to Trump, and then um, it's gonna be a very good experience. And I'm gonna talk my. I don't care if the Secret Service is there. I don't give a. F I'm gonna talk. So. So some people might say, oh yeah, this is pretty funny. How this is this nigga, funny in any capacity? Number one. So some people will say, oh, you know, it's just he didn't say a threat or anything like that. And yeah, sure, but ignoring that, let's just say, oh, he was just speaking his mind, right? He got banned from the event. Dana White even gave Damn his own comments banned? on him, which I'll play that clip. I'll see if it doesn't get copyrighted. When you start saying stupid shit like that, yeah, you're probably going to get busted up and thrown out of here, you know, making threats and talking dumb shit, looking for clout. I believe he said he was going to... I don't care what he said. I think he said he was going to confront Donald Trump. Is what I don't care what he said. Did he? Well, he wasn't able to. He's just f***ing tall, too. You know that? Neon, bro. You don't learn, bro. These people try to come. These niggas try to, like, invite you with open arms, try to have you meet Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? Just show you some hospitality. And you going to show up and do this, bro? Tell me about some. you going to talk your shit to Donald Trump. That's why they banned your motherfucking ass. And you ain't going to be able to come back either. So don't ever think you're getting into the presence of Dana White and Donald Trump ever again. Neon. You done fucked it up for yourself, bro. You could have had some content and everything. But no, you wanted to be a jackass, like how you usually do. You always been a jackass. You gonna forever be a jackass. Uh, yeah, nigga. Let's continue. Punk. And I think this was all fair. The dude got banned from going into the event, and then he later on issues an apology, which I'll play you guys right now. I want to start off by, um, you know, apologizing to um, UFC Donald Trump and Dana White for everything I said, and. Um, you know, I actually, that, that shit, night bro. when I, when I said all that shit and like the problem with me is like, I put the camera on and I black out and I don't realize. And like, I'm, I actually started to realize it. Like it, it hit me in the head, Chad. It hit me in the head that I'm like really like doing too much, like too, too much. Like 
it's not even worth it. Like took you eighteen I, years like, to realize that. Talk too crazy and I don't even realize it. And it's like I don't even try to get the clip. It's not even that. I don't even try to go for the clip. It's just I just say whatever the fuck I want and I feel like I'm behind the screen when in reality I'm in person. Like someone could literally just come like and just shoot me in the head, bro. And I don't like understand it. And it's fucked. But I'm not even looking at the chat. I don't care if y'all what the fuck y'all are saying. But I want to sincerely apologize. Um, I didn't mean anything I said. And First of all, nobody is risking their freedom for you, bro. You like a six nine type of nigga. And ain't nobody walking up to you and doing nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't got that to worry about. Um, it should have never come out of my mouth in the first place, and I, I take ownership. That was the first time I, it was like 3 a.m., I literally came, went down at Red Rock, and I, um, he called me down, and I face-to-face -face apologized to him like a man, and it was really good, and he accepted it. And, um, yeah, that was the first time I've ever had to apologize to someone in person. I don't think this guy's apology should be accepted. I don't think he's going to learn anytime soon. And the reason why I got to circle back to the Trump thing, because some people will say, oh, yeah, well, what if he just doesn't like Trump? And, you know, he just wants to let him know his genuine opinion. That's not what this is about. This is about you making someone else look bad. Let's right, say bro. me and you, right, are close friends. We're cool. And I know Kanye West right let's suppose or let's say i know drake right and i'm gonna introduce you to drake and i'm like hey drake you know i've got this guy you should really meet him um you know he's a he's a streamer he does his own thing he's a young guy and then you meet drake you shake hands with drake and you're like oh drake you're a clown like, i don't know why anybody messes with your music like, you just talk your shit. drake is gonna look at me like right what, what the hell is wrong because you, you like, bought a nigga you, around like, i thought we were cool so now you're jeopardizing the relationship that i have with drake in this case dana white has bro i'm not trying to be funny or nothing but why do like this might be off topic but why do celebrity wear big ass clothes like is that the new style like is that the celebrity style and shit like i feel like celebrities sometimes they just be buying shit because it costs a lot i'm not but i'm really convinced that they do that shit bro i ain't gonna lie bro because bro they be wearing baggy ass pants bro and it looked like it cost a lot of money. It probably do cost a lot of money. The jeans probably like five, ten thousand, or probably more than that. But they baggy and big as shit, bro. Is that like a style or something, bro? See, when I get rich, I'm gonna be a regular nigga, bro. I'm gonna just going, I'm gonna have the 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 regular jeans on with the J's, the shit I've been wearing and shit. Like I ain't finna have no big ass clothes on. Fuck, I look how nah. Donald Trump because of your but yeah. Behavior, shout out to Drake though, right? He the rap and goat for and the do generation. That, like you could do it on your own time, but why would you even want to meet the guy if you're gonna do and that? And then same in front of Secret Service, like yo, they gotta take this stuff seriously. And this is recurring behavior from this guy. I mean, keep in mind, this guy like faked his death at 15 or so. Yeah, which bro, like, most weirdo. of us knew not to do something like that at 15. He said, "I'm alive." He went through Dumb that. Ass. I think he, he might have done it twice, if I'm not wrong. Done a bunch of foolery in the past couple of months, and this is the issue that I have with IRL streaming, which is why I say it's not a fun thing anymore is these people rolling around with security i think fusi really handled this guy well where he's like yeah, that's with him and kind of slapping him around and while i'm not a person that condones violence there's some people that need it to see reality and a lot of people say oh man this person's a character let me tell oh, you yeah this. fusi like your older brother bro you keep this up bro i'm gonna tell him to take off his belt and whip your motherfucking ass uh neon because you've been getting out of line lately when it comes to a lot of these live streamers, sit down and think about it like he this. Damn what do you like think is pops, more almost. realistic? What is more in tune with reality? That a majority of these live streamers are very, very talented actors that can put on a character for eight hours, six hours plus a stream, every single stream for years on end, and then they take off that character and they go back to being their normal selves after, which is a very impressive talent. Do you think they have that talent for acting? Or do you think they're just like that let me tell you the truth they they're not like that like fam. That. there's very few like there are some streamers maybe that will play it up maybe some will i guess quote unquote grift the ones that have certain views or will say certain views to get views but a lot of these people this is how they are on and off camera they're not very different. maybe off camera they're just more obsessed with looking on their phone and seeing what people are saying about them and i don't think it's healthy for someone this much in real time feedback but when you've got security nobody's going to do anything to you and they just consistently harass people and then you get positive right that's why you be talking shit because you know security behavior. going and back this is something up. that we criticize people like lil pump for we criticize people like smoke per for we criticize people like bunk for we criticize people like who else bro, what happened to bunk game bro i remember bro back in the day he used to bunk game whole lot of gang shit nigga used to take shit and everything bro my man John Gabbana didn't change his life, right? That's his name, John Gabbana. What made him pick that name, bro? Is that like, I don't know. I don't know what made him pick that name. Is that his actual real name or like he just, I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know. Ross was doing a bunch of nonsense back then. It is just happening again with IRL streaming. I mean, Aiden Ross also put his 
neck out for this guy. He pretty much put him on, which Aiden Ross is just yeah. like the ringleader of the whole circus, which, yeah, he's pretty <laughs> bad. But for example, like, look like at this guy, look at speed, right? Like, speed is, I don't want to say goofy because it's it might be taken in a bad way. And I think the guy is, like, pretty funny. But he's just putting on bro, a show. Bro, speed do dumb shit, bro. Like, look at him, bro. Like, why the fuck did he do that, bro? He did something else, like, that put his life in danger, bro. Like, he did some, he did, like, a, a fucking sci science experiment or some shit in his room, and then fucked his whole, like, bro, he just be doing stupid shit, bro. Like, I don't get it, bro. Nigga, nigga willing to go that far for content, bro. That's And crazy. I think that guy is genuinely like that, but obviously, like, he's not going to be barking at people off camera, right? I think he's more normal off camera, but it's nigga not willing an act to risk that he his put life, on. bro. I think he's that shit crazy, bro. And when he that travels and he does in real life streams, it's all in good fun. He's not harassing people. He's not insulting people. Like this neon yeah. dude. A lot of the reason why people find it funny is he's just insulting people. Like he's not saying anything funny, and then he'll be like, "Oh my bad, I'm just joking." What was? Where was the punchline? Where was the setup? You just went and called someone fat and ugly and, you know, they should off themselves. It's like, yeah, those three things would potentially be funny if it was said in a funny way, if there was a good setup, if there was some sort of metaphor. Said, where is the setup? I, I get that kids find this stuff funny because it's edgy. This nigga got on a when button. Now, I don't even like, like this, your swag, this guy, rule, He's bro. not going to learn unless he loses everything. And even then, I don't think he'll learn. And do I wish for him to bro, learn? If he loses everything, all he's going to do is fake his death again, bro. That's all he did, bro. Once he, if he fall off, bro, he gonna fake his death, bro. He gonna get millions of views again, and he gonna come back, bro. Like, I think no. I'm really not the type of person that like celebrates people being deplatformed or anything like that. But I do wish for a reality check to hit him, and I think a lot of these guys need to be vetted. I, I think streamers. Yeah, I've met a lot of streamers. They got on the general, not IRL streamers. These people are the the weirdest group of people I've ever met in my entire life. And you got to understand and think about it. It makes sense, right? If someone's on their desktop eight to ten hours a day, that's one thing. Now, if they're on their desktop eight to ten hours a day and they have people watching them and they have to entertain them and they're constantly talking to what are ghosts, just like these things on the screen, how do you expect them to be when they're around other people or right. out in public for people that don't normally live this life? And a lot of it is positive feedback too. So they're constantly getting praised eight to ten hours a day, every day. So they also sometimes have this air of superiority because they're streaming when in the real world most people don't even know live streaming is a thing youtubers they're a lot more like normal there's a, a spread i would say like a general distribution like maybe some youtubers are weird like regular people some youtubers are really cool like regular people and some youtubers are just like in the middle i think it's a genuine spread and more people know more people know about youtube than live streaming if you tell someone oh like kick streaming or like Twitch streaming. A lot of people will have no idea. Like just regular people out in the street, like, huh? Like what? Shit, like you just talk to someone on a camera and you're just it. especially older people, they just don't even get it. And I think that's partially what they're <laughs> understandable. So yeah, it's, they used to have nineteen forty five shit. You can't really use the whole he's young argument when this has been going on for what five plus years. Nigga still ain't point, learn. Or at some point, so the person's gotta grow up or get it together. And fumbling opportunities like this, being on the watch list and saying like you don't care about secret service there's just certain stuff that i feel like even criminals wouldn't say or even people that are moronic wouldn't say and to just say it and there's this constant positive feedback that you're getting from saying crazier and crazier stuff which gets you to the point where you might say something crazy that's a threat and actually get arrested which has happened to a ton of people like yo this is in the usa people are not playing about certain things being said but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments do you mess with this guy if you do why nah if bro he's a fucking loser i don't fuck with losers you know what i'm saying but anyway we finna get out of here bro if you're new to the channel bro make sure you like share and subscribe if you enjoyed that reaction video make sure you like share and subscribe turn on that post notification bell so you notified i drop another banger bro you know what i'm saying neon bro i don't even know what to say to you fam you know what i'm saying you just be doing random shit, bro. Calling people, saying people should off they self, my nigga. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You need to go detox or something, bro. Something wrong with you, bro. You ain't, you, you, you fucked up in the head. You know what I'm saying? We finna get out of here, though, fam.